Hi, my name is Eric Shear. I am a senior network security consultant here at Burwood. And today we're going to talk about the fundamental pillar of network segmentation as it applies to compliance driven organizations. So why talk about network segmentation? And here's the thing. You may have been compliant at one point in time. You may have a need to become compliant, but as you grow, so does your network. Your users now want to be mobile 24 seven and in the cloud. And that means increased security risk. Isolating your sensitive data and systems can help you manage that risk by making it far more difficult for would-be attackers to move laterally within your network. With the right design, network segmentation can reduce your probability of data exfiltration as well as lighten your overall compliance load. A good example of this is a clothing company that had to uh, attain a stricter form of PCI compliance. They had been PCI compliant in the past, however, an audit had revealed that they had a lot of holes and a lot of gaps. The first thing we needed to do was tackle the technical debt the company had accrued over 10 years or so. Um, their security policy on their firewall had been ballooned up to over 1,600 policies, and we really couldn't tell what was talking to what. It was just a bunch of subnets talking to a bunch of other subnets with really no context and no clue. We sat down with the application owners and the business itself, and we took the time to go through a discovery process, understand what applications were being used, and not just on a port and protocol level. We're, as a business application, who and what needed to talk to what. We discovered the, through the discovery that the users that tapped into the PCI data, whether they were running reports, whether they were customer service, were all on a flat network and they were all intermingled. And then some users straddled multiple different roles within the organization. So they may have worked with customer service systems, interacted with the credit card data, and yet do other business functions which weren't necessarily necessary for PCI. So we had to come up with a plan to segment those out. So not only did we pull those users apart, we identified those users, uh, put them into groups, and then wrote some very specific security policy on a net ge uh, next generation firewall platform to talk to the specific systems. The other thing we did then is separate the other flat networks out of the, uh, the environment. So they had a, a wireless, a uh, corporate wireless, network as well as a guest wireless networks and those were on the same subnet and actually uh, only separated by a VLAN but they could route to each other on the back end so we had to separate all of that out so that we really got uh, boiled down a very specific set of policy for the customer service reps and all of the management that needed to run reports against the PCI systems creating actual network segmentation. So great, we, we've done, we did our network segmentation and we put the business in a much better place going forward to continue to grow and expand and implement new security technologies as they come available. Their InfoSec team was super happy that we went from 1,600 plus security rules down to 234. We limited their NAT down to about 120 and we left the company in a much better state to grow and expand and especially grow in uh, maturity from an InfoSec standpoint. Now, instead of being largely reactionary, the company has improved their ability to be more proactive. They've reduced their compliance burden, generated more effective insights from their reporting and analysis, improved focus on threat hunting, and reduced overall business risk. If you want to learn more from Burwood's experts about whether network segmentation might be a good fit for your environment, please get in touch with us today to schedule a discovery assessment.